Let's see how high we can get him. <laughs> Not very high. Let me just put his head on it. Whoa! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Seven from Evan 2HD. The channel is back. I know, I know you guys clicked here for the Sonic video, or you might be here because, like, oh shoot, the channel's back. Our channel is finally back, guys, and we are starting off coming back with the Lego Sonic the Hedgehog set. So this one I actually saw, um, I think it was on like TikTok and Twitter and I thought it was really cool. I love like the old retro Sonic games and the art style all that and I think like just by looking at this, they did a pretty good job of mimicking it. So this is an idea set, meaning you know, the original idea was created by a fan and then Lego took their idea and made it into this. It's, it's set 21331. It's for ages 18 and up and 1,125 pieces. So yeah, it's not too big of a build, but it honestly looks really cool. They have made a Sonic Lego before, which is like the Lego Dimensions, but that's not even a set. But the last like retro game I played of Sonic, or like mainly the only one is Sonic Mania, which I've played like multiple times. And just from like playing that, I can like recognize these things, these thing power-ups from the game you know, like the save the save points. So they got a lot of cool details here. So these are like the mini figures. It only really comes with Sonic as a mini figure. The others are kind of just build, but you know, you got Eggman there too. So here's a look at the back. Yeah, you can't actually have Sonic run up the thing without falling on his head, but hey, that looks pretty cool. And it's seven inches by 14 inches. And the three features it shows is it has all the emeralds from the game. I don't know if the bounce pad actually works. It's saying he can jump up and grab the ring. Yeah, and the enemy can switch faces. All right, let's open this thing up. The box is really cool too. Oh, look at that. I like how sleek this box looks. I don't want to mess this one up. Bag five, bag four, bag two, bag six. Comes with all the stickers. I love all like the 8-bit artwork. That's really cool. Bag uno, bag, bag six. Bag three, got some more stickers. So, oh, these checker things are stickered. I thought these were like actual builds. I feel like they could have done that with actual bricks and it might've been cooler, but yeah, they got stickers for that. Oh, the instruction booklet looks really cool. That looks really nice. All right, let's start building. All right guys, so here's the completed Sonic set. Uh, there's not really many play features. There is one, but besides that, I mean, it's just a really cool like decorative set. There's a lot of stuff you can kind of move around and there's just a lot of references to the games that I'm gonna go over because I think they're pretty cool. Before we get to the actual set itself, let's start off with the minifigures or, you know, this guy ain't so many. We'll start with Sonic. Uh, he comes on this like really cool stand. He's holding one of the rings. I like the rings that they chose to use, but I feel like it's kind of big. It's kind of big, but it's not even that. I don't really like the stud in the middle because it kind of gets rid of like the whole ring look. But the Sonic minifigure is pretty cool. I like the head. It's pretty simple for the torso and the legs. And another thing I like about the stand is that it can display all of the Chaos Emeralds. So here's the Eggmobile and Dr. Robotnik. I know there's like one thing where he's you know just flying, dropping bombs and stuff. I forgot what game that was in. I remember playing it though. Um, and like you could like hit the bombs back at him. It has like a thruster on the back. It's great. It's, it's got some cool like hazard tape pieces on it. I mean, it looks like it's just ripped straight out of the game. For, there's not any studs for him to stick to, but that's honestly because his legs, you, you can't even stick them to anything. They don't have like studs on the bottom. Here's Eggman himself. It's a pretty odd minifigure, to be honest. I don't know how else they would have done it. I saw some people talking about this online too, about not liking the head. To be honest, I feel like they could have done something cooler with the head, like how they could have gotten like a mold how they did for Sonic's head. It's a bit ovalish, looks like a pill. And yeah, you're gonna stick him right in his vehicle. Pretty cool. 
I think it looks okay from a distance. I think they're trying to emulate like the 8-bit retro look and you know when that's condensed down the pixels it kind of gets confusing. But yeah, here it is, Green Hill Zone. One thing I did notice that I want to bring up before I go any further is that there are two like little studs here that you know you'd obviously connect and that's not a mistake on their part either. They wouldn't have put that. So that's leading me to believe that they're going to come out with some more zone sets and you can like connect them on. So I think that looked pretty cool. But here it is, Green Hill Zone. Obviously, you know, it's just like a little mock-up of, you know, part of the level. I can recognize a lot of these, like, little details and appreciate them. One thing I especially like, I love checkered patterns whenever I'm doing, like, anything. That was one of the most tedious things, and they hurt my fingers, though. Because you're getting these, like, little tiny studs and, like, keep, like, putting them on each other. I don't know. It, it hurt my fingers. That was the worst part. But yeah, let's just go left to right. We have this cool palm tree here. You can like move it around. They really got like the shapes down well. Down here at the bottom of the base, it actually shows like Sonic and his lives, which is pretty cool. So it's, I guess it's meant to look like, you know, you're playing the level. There's some water down here. I really like how they did the water. There's a pretty cool bridge. You can't actually like move it or anything, but it looks really cool. Got some rings up here. If you want to pretend you're playing the game, you can just jump up. Here's like the checkpoint thing where like, you know, you'll run past it and then it'll do like a little spinny thing. You can't actually do that. Like if they kind of done like one of those pinwheel pieces, that would've been cool. Um, but yeah, it's right there. That's the checkpoint from the game. So look at this, look at that. This is pretty cool. We have the loop. Um, I really like the checkered. Looks like it's just, this. all this looks like it's straight out of the game. And the, the, what helps with it are these like pieces right here that are all like 8-bit pixel art. Those are all printed on too, so not too much of a hassle. I don't know if this is to scale. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know, it's not, it's not to scale at all. I'm just. Like, Sonic is as tall as the top of the, the thing. Come on, Sonic, let's go. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Try that again. Maybe I just do it with his head. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. On top, we have like the two little power-up things that you jump on in the game. Well, they recreated that really well. I love, like, it's like, there's like so like little pieces put into that, but like, they made it perfect. Like, it looks directly out of the game. I forgot to bring this guy in, one of the crabs, Eggman, he likes turning animals into robots and stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let's put him right there, that's how it was on the box. Um, up here we have another guy. Uh, these guys have like names, I just don't know them. This guy's pretty cool, he comes with like two faces. You have to pop off the piece if you want to switch the face. So this one's kind of like nervous, and the other one's angry. And those are just stickers. It kind of looks like a ladybug, with, you know, jets on the end. I don't, it's probably like some kind of bug. Making our way to the end, we do have a play feature right here, but before I get to that, you can see three rings on the top. So you can imagine with one of these bounce pads in the game, you, you know, use it to go get those coins. You can put them on the jumpy thing and... <laughs> we... <laughs> hey, go high. Oh! <laughs> Sonic's not having it. Let's see how high we can get them. <laughs> not very high. Yeah, I think they should have made the rings a little lower. I don't think it's like possible for him to get that high. Look at that. So, I guess he falls off the map and dies. Whoa! I, think I can try like... like that, that could go high. Let me try going on Let me just put his head on it. I know the effect's supposed to be you're using it to get those coins, but... I just say coins. Rings. But yeah, I mean, you can't go that high. Finally on the back in this corner, it has some of like the stats. I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to represent. It looks like the, like the player's names down there because it says like Sam. So I'm guessing that's like, I don't know. It's probably, I'm guessing that's probably a reference to whoever like did the Lego ideas of this or whoever worked on the set. And if I'm getting that wrong, Sonic fans, don't kill me. Let's see, is there anyone in this book named Sam? This is supposed to be like the Sonic Mania game, which was what I was comparing this to what I thought it looked like earlier, so that's pretty cool. Beat the fan designer. Oh no, it's Viv. Yeah, it could have been a game designer. It's probably some like Sonic reference. I don't know, I don't get it. But yeah, this is a really cool set. So this one retailed for $69.99. So the question is, you know, is it worth, should, should it have been worth $70? Why, okay, um, I'm, tell me if I'm dumb, but answer this in the comments. Why do they make things blank 99 and not the next dollar? Like why is it 2 dollars and not $3? Yeah, this set's really cool. I like it a lot. It looks like there's a lot of like fan ideas put into this. It's like it's sort of taken straight right out of the game. Oh, that's a good crab. Oh! 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 
<laughs> Dead. All right, one life lost. I'm right there like Tony Hawk trying to like go on one of these days. Right, I don't think Sonic can climb, but boom, boom. Those usually explode when you hit it. Oh. Wait, what if I... <laughs> I definitely want to see more LEGO sets like this on the future, like retro video games or just like normal video games, but like, eh, I feel like retro worked best for this style since, you know, it kind of looks like you're just front facing it. Like, I know they've done some Mario sets, but they should definitely do something that's like this. Like, oh, you know what would be sick? If they got like, um, if they got like the NES Mario and they did it like this, like Mario World, like 8-bit. One, one set I really want to see. Okay, so if like anyone from LEGO or like, whoever made the ideas thing is watching this, um, from Sonic Mania, since, since, since that was based, since this set was kind of based off of that, then I would like to see a Studiopolis Zone um, LEGO set. That would look so good. You could connect it to this one. Actually, they probably do something else before that, that connect. But that, they should definitely do that. It'll look really cool. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching a LEGO video. First video back on the channel since the end. Let me know if you guys think it's worth $70. I think it's, I think it's a pretty good set. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye bye. And make sure your channel don't die. YouTube, do not delete my channel again. And oh, and if you're here, yeah, I have a cameo. So if you want like a special greeting from me or you know, me to say something like happy birthday to someone or you know, I'm starting to do those. And yeah, they're pretty cool. Adios. Ciao. Moto bene. Benny Grassi.